Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all the titles that I picked up during the month of November, so stick around. So November was a great month for physical media. We had a, a lot of new releases come out, a lot of still books, a lot of special editions, um, even some boutique labels. So I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of November. I'm going to try to do these by week as much as, as possible. So in they, some of these may be out of order, but I'm going to try to do them by week. But first up, um, for the first week, I got Death Race 2000, just a regular um, UK release. Um, I've been wanting to add this one to the collection, and I noticed that, um, that the UK had this, so I went ahead and picked it up. I also got TR Baskin. Not very familiar with this one. I got the RoboDoc Steelbook release. Very happy to have this one. I did an unwrapping of it. I got a bullet for Sandoval, The Gamblers, The Guns of Navarone, still book release, um, the A24 release for, I believe this is the A24 release for showing up. Yeah, it is. Then I got the Schindler's, Schindler's List Limited Collector's Edition still book box set. And I got the Hunger Games still book collection. Very nice looking artwork underneath there. Scrooged on 4K. Fargo 4K. Gran Turismo 4K with a slip. And then we got the Best Buy Exclusive 4K still book. And we also got a Walmart Blu-ray still book. Then we got Scarface, a new 4K still book release with some great looking artwork. Um, I got Lion Girl. Not very familiar with that one. American Graffiti Steelbook Release. Black Hawk Down Steelbook Release. Violent Night Steelbook Release. Then we got the regular 4K release with a slip. And I got a box set release with a hard box. And I got the American Graffiti 4K release with a slip. And I also got Trading Places 4K with a slip. And that is for week one. For week two, I got the Spider-Man Spider-Verse 2 movie collection box set. This is an Amazon exclusive. I really like the packaging on this one. So I picked this one up. I'm very happy to have it. Then I got Sound of Freedom. I've really been wanting to check this one out. Hopefully I'll get to check that out here soon. We got another Paramount Presents release. We have Terms of Endearment. With this really nice looking slipcover. Um, we got a new Vestron release. We have Blue Steel with the slip. I got Santa Claus. Um, this right here is from the UK with the slip. Two Days in the Valley from Kino Lorber. Neon City from Kino Lorber. I got the Royal Tramp Collection, a UK release. This right here is actually from Eureka from the UK, so I really like to get those. I got Malum with a slip. From Kino Lorber, I got Computer Chess. And then I got the Vintage Classic UK release for Cross of Iron. I got the Studio um, Ghibli Target Exclusive for Spirited, Spirited Away live on stage. I got the 4K release for The Nun 2. And I got Equalizer 3 4K with the slip. I got For All Mankind Season 1 with the slip. I got... Full Body Massage. This right here is from Unearthed Films, I do believe, with a slip. From what I understand, that's a made-for-TV movie, so hopefully it's not too, too much for me. I got Rudy, still book release. I got Duel with a slip, 4K release. Then I got the Equalizer 3. Um, Still book release from Best Buy, 4K release, and then Walmart did Equalizer 3 with a Blu-ray still book. And then from Arrow, I got The Big Boss with Bruce Lee, Game of Death with Bruce Lee, Fist of Fury with Bruce Lee, 
and The Way of the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Those are all 4K releases, individual sets. I got the Blind Blu-ray release. I got 55th Anniversary of the Ultra 7 collection. This right here is a Mill Creek release. I also got the Steelbook release for um, Dual on 4K. And also the UK edition box set release for Dual on 4K. So that was all during week two. Okay, during week three, I got the Fugitive Steelbook release, Best Buy exclusive. Very happy to have this one. Then I got Saw X 4K release with a slip. I got the double two movie collection for Train to Busan and Train to Busan Peninsula 4K release with a slip. I was able to get the Oppenheimer Icon Edition from Walmart. Very happy to have that. Very fortunate to have the um, Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook and the regular 4K release with the slip. I got Black Cat from Arrow. 13 Slaves of Christmas. The Scarlet Letter. I got Expendables 4 with the lenticular slipcover. I got the Police Academy collection. I got Expendables 4, um, 4K release with a slip. I got Todd Slaughter. Um, the Criminal Acts of Todd Slaughter um, collection. Um, this right here is an indicator release. I do love collecting those. I got the standard 4K release for The Fugitive with a slip. I got Staylag 17 with a slip. Gator Blu-ray with a slip from Kino Lorber. White Lightning with a slip from Kino Lorber. I got Ghost Stories for Christmas. This is Volume 2 with a slip. I also got the Expendables 4 Steelbook release from Best Buy. And this beautiful collection from Walmart with all the Expendables 1-4 through four collection. So very happy to have all of those during week 3. So during week 4, the final week of November, I did have a delay in one of my shipments. So I'm still waiting on some titles. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. So some of these titles um, that came out during week 4, I wasn't able to get quite yet. But I'm going to go ahead and finish out the month by showing you what I picked up in week 4. I did get Monk Season 1 from Keno Lorber. I got Last Hero in China with a slip, Miami Vice with a slip, I got Typhoon Club with a slip, Bluebeard's Castle, I got Tremors 2 Aftershock, um, Tremors 2 Aftershocks, I did get the um, Arrow Store exclusive variant, but it has not shipped yet. For some reason, there's a delay. I got Barbarella 4K release from Arrow. And I also got the Arrow Store exclusive with the variant artwork. I got San, um, the Sandman um, Season 1 release. WandaVision 4K Steelbook release. The Naked Gun 4K Steelbook release. Tales from the Dark Side of the Movie from um, Scream Factory with a slip. Street Fighter 2 4K animated uh, movie. I got this from Radiance Films. I got the Sandlot 30th Anniversary Edition um, Disney Movie Club exclusive. Holes 20th Anniversary Edition from Disney Movie Club. I got the Rome Door with a slip. Scream Queen with a slip. And I got Silent Rage Blu-ray with a slip. I also got a Haunting in Venice Blu-ray release with a slip. The Last Tycoon from Kino Lorber. And then lastly, I got the Monster Squad 4K with a slip. So very happy to have all of these added to the collection. 
So I'm very happy that I was able to add all of these titles to the collection during the month of November. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. And also let me know some of the titles that you were able to pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.